I'm in mean, New Orleans with a um, chef, chef oh, from yes. Wolf Restaurant, and I was trying to enjoy his shrimp that he prepared this morning for celebrating uh, gold seafood. And I'm in the boat here, and I'm only finding heads. So I would have filmed them for you. Yeah, but you, you need to tell me. You need to tell me why. Where, where, where's the shrimp? Why they're so good? They're all gone. You know, there's some things you mess up in life, and I think I screwed this one up, huh? <laughs> no, but so what did you? What were there? This, uh, you know, we did the basic. We wanted to represent uh, Louisiana in its purest form. You know, we took shrimp, we boiled it, uh, Louisiana style, Creole style. Uh, a little bit of Zatarain's crab oil, which is famous here in New Orleans, famous across the United States. A little bit of cayenne, some lemon, uh, celery, and onion, and it really turned out fantastic. So I'm sorry. And then why did I see you pouring ice when they were finished to be cooked? You know, uh, there's about a thousand different methods of uh, how to cook shrimp. Everybody has their own little gumbo recipe, right. just as shrimp. They have their own recipe. So for me, I find that throwing uh, ice in it. Once it almost comes to a boil, we let it sit for about three minutes. Uh -huh. We throw ice in it. It seems yeah, and it was not ice. It was ice. <laughs> it was beer. a good yeah, bit yeah, of yeah, ice. Yeah, yeah. We made the the, the, the water, uh, the poaching liquid, uh, extra salty, extra spicy, because we know we're going to throw the ice in there. Right. It's going to melt and thin it out. Right. But what it does is it pulls the skin, uh, the shell away from the skin. So it. it it tends to make it easier well, to I feel. You can tell me. I don't yeah. know. I didn't try, I'll have to come to your restaurant and try. Well, you know, we'll try to get you there. Thank so, you, Chef. Thank you. You're more than welcome. Sophie, it's a pleasure to be here. Thank you.